Excuse me, Take sir. Care. Yeah, what's up? Question for you. Yeah. Is this your Rolls Royce? Uh, yeah. And what do you do for a living out here in Tampa to be able to afford a Rolls Royce? I am a consultant. How long have you been a business owner for? I've been a business owner for 37, no, 39 years. And could I interview you real quick? I go sure. all over the country just asking business owners advice to new entrepreneurs. Sure. What was the most amount of money that you made in a single year? Man, I'm not going to say. Over $10 million? Over, yeah. Uh, it's going to be my current year. I'm uh, making a few million this year, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me a range. Four to five. Four to five million dollars. Yeah. Most amount of money I've ever made in a single year, 15 million. Have you ever been broke before? <laughs> Oh God, excuse me, sir. Question for you. Have you ever been broke before? Huh? Have you ever been broke before? I've been broke before? Yeah. Yeah, man, I've been broke before. Yeah, and what, what line of business are you in? I'm uh, a digital marketing company. I'm an investor. Yeah? Yeah. I go all over the country just asking successful people how they made it for the younger generation. Could I interview you for the channel real quick? That's dope, man. So how long have you been an entrepreneur for? For about three or four years, man. Over these four years, what was the most amount of money that you made in a single year? Uh, it's going to be my current year. I'm uh, making a few million this year, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me a range. Four to five. Four to five million dollars. Yeah. As a multiple seven-figure entrepreneur, what is the best financial advice that you ever received? Leverage debt. Uh, I think a lot of people are looking to get out of debt, which means you just come from being negative to broke. And then another thing is, if you don't learn how to leverage debt, you'll always be working for somebody else who knows how to leverage debt. Break yeah. that down. How can somebody leverage debt to create wealth? Let's just say if we leverage other people's money to be able to buy real estate or to start a business, now we have the capability and opportunity to start these businesses and investments. But we can use somebody else's money to start something that cash flows and then pay back off the debt over time. So why am I looking to pay off debt when I can cash flow off somebody else's money and start the things that I want to start without my own money? Yeah. I like that concept. You know they don't teach that in school, right? Yeah, you definitely don't learn that in school. Did you go to college? Uh, I went to college for like uh, 90 days, yeah. and then I dropped out. I, I, I'm not that smart, man. I, I didn't know how to write a 10 to 15 page paper. I kind of quit after after they told me how to write a page paper. I'm like, ah, it ain't my thing. How old are you now? 30. 30? Yeah. And how old were you when you became a millionaire? Like 27. 27. Do you come from a lot of money? Nah, I don't. Uh, my, my father died in a car crash when I was a kid, um, like one years old. And my mom, she had got taken to jail for a few years as well. So, What was the turning point to financial freedom? One thing that I know is that everybody do is say that stuff is hard. Starting a business is hard. Investing is hard. Like getting your credit together is hard. Well, it's hard being broke. It's hard being in the same position year after year after year after year. So you got to choose what hard you want. All right, you guys, this video just got up to an amazing start and we're headed to go get our next interview right now but i want to take a quick moment to talk to you guys about one of the greatest lessons that i've learned from interviewing over a thousand millionaires in the last wait, wait, wait before you finish watching this video i want to introduce myself i am kenny smith a seven-figure entrepreneur i help business owners and entrepreneurs leverage credit to start businesses and investments i teach business owners and entrepreneurs how to clean their credit build their credit and get funded their first fifty thousand to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in funding with their llc it's called zero percent interest business credit card stacking methods i want to show you this method i teach this method specifically step by step in my community my community is less than two dollars a day so what i want to do is i want you to text the word group to this number below and you can get access right now for less than two dollars a day how to be able to get that step-by-step -step process, okay? So you get back to your video, I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys later. Out here in Tampa at Eddie V's, one of the nicest steakhouses in the entire city. My guy just pulled up in a Rolls Royce. We gotta go see what this man was able to do out here, man. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, what's up? Question for you. Yeah. Is this your Rolls Royce? Uh, yeah. Yeah? It's mine. And what do you do for a living out here in Tampa to be able to afford a Rolls Royce? I am a consultant. I'm yeah. a business consultant. Are you an entrepreneur? I am definitely an entrepreneur. How long have you been a business owner for? I've been a business owner for 37, no, 39 years. And could I interview you real quick? I go sure. all over the country just asking business owners advice to new entrepreneurs. Sure. What was the most amount of money that you made in a single year? Most amount of money I've ever made in a single year, 15 million. 15 million dollars. Yeah. Have you ever been broke before? <laughs> I was broke for the first part of my life, then I made millions of dollars, and then I was broke again, and now we've set it up in such a way that that doesn't happen anymore. What separates middle class from wealthy people in today's world? Poor people and middle class people feel like everything's expensive because they pay for everything with money they've exchanged their time for, and they feel like they're paying for everything with their life because they are. Wealthy, creative entrepreneurs like yourself, like myself, we pay for things according to our creativity. In other words, we create an offer to pay for everything we buy, so everything costs the same amount. And do you believe in God? I more than believe in God, I trust God. 
So that's, uh, yeah, I believe in God and I trust God. How important has faith been for you throughout your career? It's the most important thing in my life. How did you build that relationship and build that trust in God? Maybe to speak to those people that may not understand the importance of that and how much that's you know, had an so impact. So I received Christ as my savior when I was 16 years old. I started reading the Bible when I was 17. Every success principle that I learned, the very first thing that I do is I go back and look at scripture and see if it lines up. If it does, I'll follow it. If it doesn't, I ditch it. You got amazing advice. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time. I really appreciate, appreciate that. Good to meet you, young man. Hard